this video we will discuss about some of the therapeutic approaches to treat the C CDG disease or the congenital disorder for glycosylation so these are the diseases that arises because of the uh, because of the abnormal post translation modification or more specifically because of the abnormal glycosylation so some of the Appro uh, some of the therapeutic approaches are mentioned here so one of the approaches is that the problem or this abnormal glycosylation could be uh, because of the uh, because of the low amount of this uh, udp uh, udp uh, udp uh, mannose enzyme and because of this the Low, because of the low availability of this enzyme it will not be able to perform its function properly so one of the suggestion is to oral injection of this uh, enzyme will cause or uh, might uh, reverse the impact of this low amount of this EDP mannose enzymes so that it can further uh, take place in the it can further take place for uh, this normal glycosylation process or during this such as during the initiation of asparagine linked glycosylation and in the second case is that uh, there is a deficiency of mannose uh, so that uh, this galactose will not be able to uh, perform its function properly in the uh, carbohydrate this enzyme of uh, galactose will not be able to perform its function properly so this further uh, modification or further processing of this glycans will not occur in case of deficiency condition in case of deficiency condition so either with the oral injection of this mannose or this mn2 plus or might overcome this issue and then this glycosylation of this carbohydrate structures that is at a attached to the proteins can be uh, uh, can be done normally by this uh, modified enzyme galactose D bind with mannose uh, bind with Mn2 plus or uh, manganese so, uh, another approach is uh, the because of the abnormals because of the uh, lack of enzyme uh, this uh, because of the lack of enzyme uh, or lack of uh, chaperone we can say that this PMM2 will not be able to form its uh, native structure and the misfolded structure will not perform uh, the function as efficiently as the native structure of this PPM2 will be able to do so the conversion of this mannose 1 6 to mannose 6 P phosphate will not happen because of the sum of the mutations that are present in the PMM2 so this can be compensated by adding some chaperones that helps these proteins to form a, a native structure this mutated proteins to form a native structure so that uh, when so that this mannose 1 6 phosphate can then be converted into the mannose uh, 6 Oh, mannose 1 phosphate can then be converted into the mannose 6 phosphate and this example is explained in this figure so, and this is known as mannose therapy in MPI CDG so MPI CDG is uh, the name of the disease in which this uh, because of the abnormal functioning of this PMI this fructose 6 phosphate cannot be converted to the mannose 6 phosphate so lack of this mannose 6 phosphate will then cause will then cause uh, problems in the further processing and the end glycosylation will not occur properly so this problem is not directly uh, uh, directly in la uh, directly matches with this problems but it is uh, similar uh, to this congenital disorder of glycosylation 
So these two are two different disorders. So as I have said that because of the abnormality of this BMI, this fructose six phosphate will not be able to convert into manose six phosphate. So further uh, modification will get affected and it will impact the N glycosylation process. So how this thing can be overcome? This thing can be overcome by oral injection of this high manose and this high manose can be converted into the manose 6-phosphate through this enzyme HK enzyme and then this manose 6-phosphate will then be used for further processing and it will not impact the N glycosylation or it will restore the N glycosylation in those patients. So these are some of the approaches that I mentioned here that can that can be used to treat this congenital disorder of glycosylation and if you need to understand this approaches in detail you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description that's all for this video thank you for your time